Good afternoon. Am I audible, ma? Rishita, Nalini, Sharath. Yes, ma'am. Okay. What we discussed in the previous session? Exam internal, ma'am. Before that, last week internal. I know that before that, what we discussed up to job sequencing with deadlines, we have completed. So we are left with only one topic that is backtracking and the problems under the backtracking we have to discuss. So before going to backtracking today, I just want to uh, show you how to write the test cases. Okay, just in the code signal platform. How can we write the test cases? How can we submit the test cases? All those things we'll see. Is it okay for you? Rishita Ledam. Sheshu. These people did not connect to audio. Okay. So just I'll demonstrate the test cases in Java. Nalini, are you in front of the system? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Please share your screen because I have, I have already done the programs in that code signal. Okay. okay. No, I'm starting now. Ma'am, what should I open? Java? Go to, uh, no, ma, go to Google Chrome. Do you have account in code signal? No, ma'am, I should create. Okay, uh, go to code signal. See, ma, all of you do this. All of you follow these steps. No need of demo. I think click on login. No account request a demo here. Okay. Now click check request a demo here. Left hand side only. Some student image. Ma'am. Geetha Mani. Mail us the then kunda mail lo check che link ke dena us the us the match verification link ala. Imra le da. Kala. Chudok sorry. Le da na. Okay. Hmm. Go to code signal. Idenana, which my lady? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. 
సైన్ ఇన్ విత్ గూగుల్ అని కొట్టే లేదండి క్లిక్ చే ఓకే అది క్లోజ్ చే ద ఆర్కేడ్ హ్యాస్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ అది క్లోజ్ చే నో గో టు యువర్ ప్రొఫైల్ మై ప్రొఫైల్ ఎస్ మ్యామ్ క్లిక్ చేయి క్లిక్ చేసి ఓకే అక్కడ లాంగ్వేజెస్ లో యాడ్ అని చెప్పి జావా లాంగ్వేజ్ యాడ్ చేయి ఇప్పుడు ఈ కోడ్ సిగ్నల్ మీద పెట్టి ఆర్కేడ్ అంది కదా అక్కడ ఆర్కేడ్ మీద ఇంట్రో ఫస్ట్ ఇక్కడ రైట్ సైడ్ లో జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ అని ఉంది చూసావా జావాకి రిమైనింగ్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ యూ ఫాలోయింగ్ మా All of you do these steps. What is the question you got? Write a function that returns the sum of two numbers. Mm. Will you be able to write it? Yes ma'am. All of you try to write this. Okay Nalini stop sharing. I will give you five minutes time. all of you do this write a function that returns the sum of two numbers okay write a test case here you have to write the test case if you want i'll share my screen uh, with the question Seema, this you have to submit like your assignment also. This is your second assignment. The programs, what you are doing in code signal, you have to submit in the assignment. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am i haven't been receiving like uh, from code signal it says uh, we'll be receiving an email no, ma'am that we haven't received so can please we please try to log in through google okay ma'am see ma the question is write a function that returns first listen to the question 
write a function that returns the sum of two numbers okay you have to write return the sum of two numbers they have given you the clues also parameter 1 is 1 parameter 2 is 2 the output should be add of parameter 1 comma 2 should be 3 which means like this you have to print if you pass the arguments as 1 in 2 it has to give 3 this is the thing the output should be like this i'll give you 5 minutes time at 125 we'll see the answer mama no, no, no doubt mom no. mom you mentioned we have to submit this like an assignment uh, can you elaborate on that yes uh, i'll tell you after completion of uh, at least three programs i'll tell you how can we submit okay okay mom Mom, hmm. I have a doubt. Can I share my screen? Yes, you can. Wait, I need to stop mine. Okay, mom. Okay, share yours. So here, mom. Hmm. To go to the second one, it says I need one fifty credits or something like that. Oh no. Yeah, and the first one I did it properly. When I run the test cases, all of them come out positive. Okay, submit. You just click on submit here. Where should I? Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, I just click on next task. Okay, ma'am, understood now. Okay, if you submit, then only it will. Uh, okay, it will okay, open. Ma'am, understood now. Thank you. Okay.
then mom first one completed first one rishita ma'am yes completed ma'am uh, ma'am it took me to my system was slow so i just finished the demo thing ma'am i just logged in i have to start now okay okay i'll give you for uh, three more minutes please complete after the technology okay ma'am thank you done ma
See ma, those who have completed and those who did not complete, observe here. See what they have asked you. They have asked you write a function that returns the sum of two numbers. Okay, here already they will give you the function. Uh, so sum of two numbers. Sum of two numbers means the number one is available in parameter one. The number two is available in param two. So simply return param one plus param two. Writing this code, just to click on run test. Okay. What it is showing? Test pass six six by six. What is the first test? Test one is one two is the input. Output is three. What they have expected? Expected output also three. If these two matches, then it will not raise any error. Again zero and thousand. Output is thousand and expected. Both are matched. This one two minus thirty nine minus thirty seven matched ninety nine. So like this, it will test. Generally, this is a test case. Why they have uh, called this as test case means we are not writing any Java packages. We are not writing any classes here. Just we are writing only the function. Everything is already inbuilt. Everything is already inbuilt. We are simply writing the logic. Generally, if I ask you to uh, print addition of two numbers, what we will write? Generally, we will write this thing as okay. Generally, we will write this thing as like this: system dot out dot print ln of print ln of sum is. Print ln of sum is how can you print the sum? Param one plus param two. Like this, we will print. This is also correct if we are not implementing the. If we are not implementing the test cases, if if we are writing directly a, a program, this this is absolutely fine. So if I run the test cases, what happens? See what it is asking. Error missing return statement. You did not use any return statement. Why it is asking me? Why it is raising the error missing return statement? Because here the platform is designed that only we have to write the function. Okay, we have to write the actual logic. If we write the logic and definitely we have to return the logic because we are not implementing the entire code. We are writing only the logic and we are passing that answer. That return value to the main function. Main function we are not implementing, which is already predefined. This is nothing but the test cases. Test cases means no need to write everything. Simply the logic is highly enough. So if I remove this, simply return param one plus param two, and I am running the test cases. Now it is saying absolutely fine. All are passed. Next, click on submit. If you click this, then only it will. Enable the next one. Next second one. What is the second question they have given to you? What is the question given to you? Given a year, return the century it is in. The first century spans from the year one up to, and including the year hundred. Hundred would be same century. Look at us. The the second from one or two one two, including the year two hundred. So you have to print this. 
सके ओके मा सी दिस गिवन ए इयर रिटर्न द सेंचुरी इट इज इन फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ इट इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वॉट इज द सेंचुरी ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वी आर नाउ इन विच सेंचुरी वी आर इन विच सेंचुरी मा प्लीज रेस्पॉन्ड रोल नंबर थर्टी थ्री थर्टी फोर फिफ्टी फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट राइट इफ इट इज नाइनटीन Which century is the is that? You mean twenty nineteen? No, only twenty nine. Ma'am, give me a year, ma'am. Like, what do you mean nineteen, two thousand nineteen? No, ma'am, only nineteen. I'm I'm telling you. Yes, it is first century. Somebody has answered. It is first century. See oh. what they have given you. Given a year, return the century. It is in. The first century is one to hundred, which means hundred also included in the first century. Okay, but the name that you are giving me is nineteen. Nineteen means is it in is it in between one to hundred? Is it not? Ma'am, did you just give us a number, or you asked the year nineteen hundreds or something like that? I just given the year as only nineteen, not nineteen hundred. Only nineteen one nine. Which century is that? Which century? Nineteen. Rishita in fifty-three. Ma'am, still doubt. Ma'am, still in doubt. Rishita, I get confused. Why? 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 Nineteen? Why? Why? Nineteen year? Why? Why? No, but why? 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 Nineteen? Why? Why? Not like that, ma'am. <laughs> Only nineteen. I am asking. See clearly, they mentioned that the first century spans from the year one, first year, first year. And no, two thousand flow now. I mean, two thousand flow. Only two thousand nineteen. I am telling you, I am telling you, I am telling you. Year so maybe. Four Christ after Christ type flow. One first only. My question is, the first century spans from year one up to including the year hundred. Ante one nunchi hundred lo pani ke hoychi na the first century. One out one nunchi two hundred lo pas second century. Two two not one to three hundred is third century, like this two thousand uh, one to two thousand hundred is twenty first century, right? Now I'm asking you only nineteen. If you jump on Marishita, first century ma'am. First century. Are the mind the fifty three? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Did you understand? Yes ma'am. Okay, now you tell me fifty three nineteen not five. Which century? Nineteen not five. Which century? A uh, twentieth one. Twentieth century. Very good. Next, Rishita, you tell me seventeen hundred. Ma'am, seventeen century, ma'am. Seventeen, seventeen not seventeen hundred and one. One seven zero one. Eighteenth, ma'am. Eighteenth. I think I have given the clarity, right? Yes, ma'am. Now for this, which means suppose if you pass the year, you have to retrieve the century. For this, you have to write the program, write the logic. All of you try to write the logic. I'll give you ten minutes. If you are unable to do it, then we will discuss. Okay. Please do it.
Denmark, have you completed or still doing? Ma'am, out. Super much. Uh, Ma'am, can I share my screen? Yes, you can. Ma'am, here I have written. Um, if year is less than hundred, then it will print first century, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Then, if like after taking the percentile, if it is sorry, after if the remainder is zero, it will print. Uh, always will it print hundred plus one, ma'am? Or how will I write that? That is the only thing I have given to you, Rishita. This I got, ma'am. Because if I write hundred plus one over here, it will not. Here I will give you one clue. Okay. Yes, I am not going to explain. Please try. Okay, because this lab is exclusively for how because uh, we are always uh, in forward only syllabus. Okay, माने उनको उन्नत आन के ना कुछ मुंदे और ना मुझे so how to write the test case चाहिए नेच भाई कि नहीं नहीं कुछ नहीं ना point जब तू ना okay here don't use system dot out dot print ln ये पर system dot out dot print ln use जैसे ये जरूरत है ना तो नहीं कि कर output print out तो दी okay but here uh, thing is that don't print the output We have to return the answer to the main function. Okay, so first point is don't use system dot out dot print ln. We have to return the answer to the computer and uh, sorry main function. And here one more clue is अपने ने सर ने निके explain चेस्ट आनु दानी बट at least code implement जाएं. Okay ma'am. Um, Stop sharing. Okay. इंकना अट्लीस्ट ई अप्रिशिट दट यू हाव ट्रई का जस्ट ट्रई चसो इंका ट्रई चुस् अभी राइना पर्वे इप्ड ने इयर अने वन टू हड्रेड उसे फस्ट सी अब नई हड्रेड उ हड्रेड अंत इधे सी सारी नई नाट वन इधे सी ट्वेंटी एना सिंगि लाजिक रायली सिंगल लाइन रायली नो इफ लो एल्स लो एल्स इफ लो इला एनी राय गला नो इफ 2000 तो ने प्रपंच में आग पे इंदा आग पो दूसरो ए रिची ना दिस एंट्री रिटर्न से आली अलानु एनी एल्स इफ लो राय गलो अलान मानो इन्फिनिट नंबर ऑफ एल्स इफ लो मानो ब्राय गलो सो नो रासी ने लॉजिक ने तप्पा � एक्सप्लेन अवे आलोच डिवेड बै मॉड्यूलो डिवीजन हड्रेड इन हड्रेड अटे ई मीन टू से सपोज हड्रेड इच्छा हड्रेड डिजिबल अटे हड्रेड डिजिबल बै हड्रेड अंत एम जीरो रिमैंडर जीरो वे विच फस्ट सी अंदो नैक्स्ट दी सारी मॉड्यूलो डिवन का नार्मल डिवीजन हंड्रेड डिवेड बै हड्रेड रिमैंडर इज जीरो ओके नैक्स्ट नयटी हड्रेड उइन नाट वन डिवेड बै हड्रेड अंत समथिंग एदो मिगल नीक इलाक कौंट इंक्रिमेंट चेयली दिश द लाजि पेपर तो साल्वी नैक्स्ट लाजि आलोच क्लू अच्छे डिवजन अप्लाई मॉड्यूलो डिवजन नार्मल डिवजन नैक्स्ट
Done, Rishita. All of you, Nalini, have you completed? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell me the logic, ma, Nalini. Rishita, chesa, ma. I am chesa, ma, too. Okay. You either apply the uh, subtraction, any arithmetic operator, you apply and try it. Not only the division, if you... Yes, ma, understood the logic, ma, writing. Okay. We'll wait two more minutes now. After that, we'll move on to the program. 53, have you tried? Did you get the answer? Um, yes, ma'am. Okay. Try chesara, copy chesara. I did on my own now. Okay, very good, 53. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, ma. Suppose what is the question they have given to you? One to hundred. Ante hundred lok man game undi oka sense we after hundred hundred cross in the ante it is changing the next. So first, if it is greater than zero, whatever the year you have given, if it is greater than zero, okay, if it is greater than zero, then what we are doing initially you take the count value as zero. Year is equals to year minus 100. Okay, year is equals to year minus 100 and count will be incremented as count is equals to count 1. This I'm taking like a while loop. Why I have taken while loop? Because it has to repeat a number of times. Suppose what is the year I have given to you? 19. Initially year greater than 0. 19 greater than 0. Yes, it is true. True means year is equal to year minus 100. 19 minus 100. What it will give you? Some minus 7. Sorry, 81 it has given you. Count is equal to count plus 1. Count plus 1 means count will be incremented to 1. Next to minus 81 greater than 0. Is it true or false? Is it true or false? Please respond. Is it true or false? Minus 81 greater than 0. Is it true or false? Please respond. False, ma'am. False. False means come out of this and print it or some return. We have to return. No, so return count. We are returning the count value. This is the thing. If it is 17, not 1. 1701. So, if it is the thing, year greater than 0, 1701 greater than 0. Yes, it is true. Minus 100. Minus 100 just then I came to 1601. The count is incremented to 1. Next, again, 1601 is greater than 0. So, greater than 0 means 1 more minus. So, 1501 count will be incremented to 2. Next, 1501 greater than 0, which will be incremented, which will give you 1401. Next, it is 3. Next, 1401 minus 1301, which is 4. Next, 1201, which is 5. 1101, which is 6. 1001, 7. 901, 8. 
एट नॉट वन विच इज नाइन सेवन नॉट वन ओके सेवन नॉट वन विच इज टेन नेक्स्ट सिक्स नॉट वन विच इज इलेवन फाइव नॉट वन विच इज ट्वेल्व फोर नॉट वन थर्टीन ओके थ्री नॉट वन समवेर आई मिस आई थिंक फोर्टीन नेक्स्ट टू नॉट वन फिफ्टीन वन नॉट वन इट इज सिक्सटीन नेक्स्ट वन एनी वे इट इज ग्रेटर देन सेवेंटीन नेक्स्ट वन इज ऑल्सो ग्रेटर देन जीरो नेक्स्ट इट विल गिव यू एटीन आफ्टर दिस वन माइनस हंड्रेड इट विल गिव यू नाइनटी नाइन नाइनटी नाइन मीन्स विच इज फॉल्स सो वॉट इट गिवस यू सेवेंटीन नॉट वन मीन्स इट इज एटीन सेंचुरी आम आई क्लियर विद दिस मा रिशिता got it so i'm just showing some errors ma'am okay one second i'll show you the program too okay. see int century from year into year count is zero year greater than zero yes year is equals to year minus one and count will be incremented i'm returning the count i'm running the test cases it is showing that all test cases are passed 19 not 5 is 20th century Seventeenth century, nineteen eighty eight, twentieth, two thousand again twentieth, two thousand one, which is two hundred, which is second century. Next seven three seventy four, fourth century, forty five first, eight, which is first. That's it, right? Hmm. Rishita, what is your error? Ma'am, I got it. Ma'am, I rectified. Yeah. I wrote the same thing, but then small semicolon mistake I made. Okay, I think I'm clear with this. Am I? Please respond. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Still, any one of you doing, or shall I move on to the next one? Okay, I'm moving to the next program, ma. The third one. See all of you observe the question. Given the string, check if it is palindrome. What is palindrome? What is palindrome string? Can can anyone give me the example for palindrome string? Um, reverse order and normal order should be same. Yes, if we reverse the string, then it should be equal to the given one. For example, is it visible on both the screens? Paint and the. Is it visible, ma? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Here I have written madam. If I read from this end, again it is madam. If I read from this end, again it is madam. Liril, L I R L, L I R L. Both are same. Nitin, N I T I N, N I T I N. All these are known as the palindrome strings. Okay. Now you have to implement the logic that should be. A palindrome, which means if it is a palindrome. Suppose, for example, instead of madam, suppose if I write sir, is it a palindrome? Is it a palindrome? No, ma'am. No. So, if I give the string which is not a palindrome string, then it has to return the false. If I give a string which is a palindrome, then it has to return it as true. What is the output? It is expecting true or false. So, return type for true or false is boolean. So if the input string is a a b a, if I read from end of the string again, it is a a b a a, which is true. It will return true because it is poly palindrome. A b a c. If you if you read from the reverse, c a b a, which is false. A a is the only one. If you read from front side or if you read from end of the string, it is a only, which is palindrome. So true. This you have to return. Will you try it? Say yes or no. Will you try it? Please respond, ma. Yes, ma. Okay, all of you try it. I'll give you ten minutes time.
Mom, can I share my screen? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Please share. Mom, I'm getting a main function error, ma'am. This is my code. Okay, wait. Are we at this? Oh, I'm at a different code. Is that fine? Which one you are doing? You are doing the fourth one? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, we're supposed to like get the product of adjectives like mm -hmm. and okay. then find the biggest okay, value. Okay, I understood, ma. What is the mistake you did also? I'm not going to give you the code. I'll just tell you where the mistake you find it out. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Please. You have taken the maximum number as zero, right? Yes, ma'am. So maximum is zero means in your input, you are having my negative numbers also. How can you take that as your maximum number? For example, your input array is only 362573. Assume like that only positive numbers, then the maximum is zero you can take, but you're having the numbers which are less than zero also. So don't consider that as the maximum. That is a clue I can give. Ma'am, but uh, that is like a that's like a declaration type, ma'am. So like over here, suppose my i is zero, right? But when I'm but actually ma, your using... mark should not be equals to zero. Why? Because here you are uh -huh. comparing e of i greater than max, e of i greater than max. Then you are making max as a of i. Suppose if you consider minus two, minus okay. two greater than zero. Is it true? It is false. So my minus two will not be included in your product form. So don't take max as zero. Max should be some negative number. Maximum negative number, uh, whatever the maximum negative number possible that you have to take it as a max value. Okay, ma'am. Mm, try it. Change that max value, then definitely you'll get it. Now, mm. oh, can I share my screen one more last time? Yes. Now, so it's giving me a main thread error and I don't know what is going on here. Okay, ma'am. But see, what I'm telling you is that exception in thread main, what is that mean? What, what does it mean? Means in your main function, that is in the logic itself, there is an error. And what, what is the error come down a little bit? 
what is this error error it is saying caused by index out of bound exception index out of bound exception means in your array what you are having 3 6 minus 2 minus 5 7 3 first okay. you explain me the code what you have written i'm um, so i make an array called a mm. then i find out my input array its length and declare it as l mm. and then i have declared i and max here mm. and then i have a for loop where uh, it multiplies like like the first like two elements. elements it will multiply yeah, right? i just and element. then put it in an array called a mm. and then i have a for loop where it checks like which is the biggest uh, value in that array and whenever the value changes it value mm. and when the for loop ends it will then send the return statement after it is over yes mom still like that so after the for loop is over return statement will be out which is the max value yeah you change that max value as some minus 99 ma'am i think it's in the for loop ma'am L is going out of bounds. Like we don't have the last element to multiply it, right? Which L? This L, it will be coming to the last element, and it will not have another element to multiply with it. So it will be going out of bounds. But uh, there will be a er error in the this function, right? Not in the main function. See, ma, everything is linked to main fifty three. Okay, so we are returning it, that function to main only. Okay, so where I am? Can you repeat if you don't? I know think it is i less than l minus one. I less than l minus one. L minus one. Yes, I think I'm not. Line sure. number six, ma. Okay, if it's l minus one, then okay. Are you both both the for loops or like only one? Because no, that is not the case. Yes. Okay. Uh, in line number six, l minus one is fine because uh, what she said is absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. But here the thing is, the error is due to max only. I'm thinking that the error is due to max function only. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Ma'am, the thing is, max like if you declare a value here, like suppose I declared i is equals to zero, and then okay. later on in the like somewhere else, like suppose over here max value is assigned as i the product of six and two, which is minus twelve, then whatever you declared here is no longer relevant. So like, as like if I show you, the thing is usually I use an illustrator to do this, but my illustrator okay, doesn't work okay you just work. go to a normal uh, id normal id as in like uh, something visual studio you are using right 53 uh we go to that normal id and do okay, the same program okay mom I think my VS Code is not launching. It's not P. Wait, it's a Java program, right? Oh yes, I'm sorry. Should work. This is. Hmm. Everything you have to write, right? Import Java dot everything you have to write. Main function. I don't have to import in VS Code now. 
VS Code, I don't have to import. Static void me. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And take like an array. And array will be Nalini no Jesa Mama. No, no, no. No? No, I just completed my parliament. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Rishita, have you completed third one? Roll number 33. Um, is that Correct. Like, can I execute? Yes. In where is class, ma? Sorry, ma. Class. Uh, Give the class name as TT only. No, don't delete that. You just press enter after class. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Yes. I one minute one. VS Code will auto correct everything. I'm yes, sorry. Yes. I think, yeah. In Java, it's def no ma'am, or is that Python? No, it is not Python, right? Simply give int, you are returning integer, no? Okay. Yes. One. Next, yes. you are returning max, where, where it will go? Ah, uh, yes, I have to print it out now. Oh wait, I have to, I'll still return. Or should I print it out? Yes, anything is fine. Print. Max. Is that enough, ma? Mm, yes, you try it. System dot out dot print. Print yes, and never. Okay, you try it. Uh, one minute now. Let me check braces. This will go here. And Class key and close here, let you. Yes, ma'am. To select this, select that, select, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. What is going on? GFG. Ah. Uh, I what is going on? Did he, uh, huh. Main class. String arcs is like an array, right? Main class, come again, ma'am. See, ma line number 17, uh, there should be an array symbol, right? After ARG? Yes. yes. Okay, now it will run.
one minute now we just we relaunch vs code Hmm. It's taking forever to execute. I don't know why. Hey, Mindy. It's not executing for some reason. I think my VS code is broken. And it says illegal startup. Uh, everything is wrong in my life. Okay. Syntax error. Insert closed brace. Here? Huh? No, no. Here there is a semicolon. That's fine. Static void me. I think that's all, maybe. Wait, man. And now it says adjective from and file type TT. Um, can you help me, please? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Wait, ma, wait. The adjacent element product int is undefined for the type TT. Int. Input. Should I put int in front of input array? No, no, ma. It's simply calling, right? Just the variable name is enough. You're just calling that function. Mm -hmm. Or should I should I put system dot print here and then remove? What you will print dot here? Out dot print, print and then put this in the bracket and no. return it from there. Maybe. No, that's not the thing. Okay, but okay, mom. Then, or is it no? It's inside. Uh, hmm. That's not the thing. I don't know, ma'am. Okay, yes. Uh, type mismatch. Cannot convert from int to int. Cannot convert from int to int. Or should I remove the brackets from here? No. Int? Okay. No, no, that is correct only. Uh, to int the method. Int is undefined to type tt. Huh. Or should I put something here? I'm confused. Okay, you, you just wait. Uh, we'll see the third program and then we'll again come yes, back to this part. Okay, otherwise the time is wasting, right? Yes, ma'am. I, I agree, ma'am. Okay, uh, 53 definitely will come to that part after completion of this question. Okay. Uh, remaining people, have you completed this third question? Rishita, complete this, ma'am. Ma'am, I did half, but then it is. 
after i finished also it says errors ma'am i mean okay, my code is Ma'am, two minutes. Uh, I'll actually check my code and share, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I, I did like a little bit of like we. I took VS Code's help and like fixed it a little bit. Now I'm getting the same error as the website. Okay. Like the website would give me an error called index zero out of bound from length zero, and now VS Code is also giving me same error. Okay. We'll check. No worries. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Those who have completed and those who did not complete, observe carefully here. Is it visible to you? what we discussed given the string and check if it is palindrome or not palindrome if it is a palindrome you have to return it like true if it is not you have to return it like false okay boolean check palindrome first i'm calculating the length of the input string why i'm calculating the length means from that length onwards i have to start from backwards okay for example why i am calculating this means Okay, why I am calculating means suppose the given string is madam you as you, n is equals to length one two three four five five is the length. So from fifth character onwards, I have to start to move from back to first. So initially, uh, the reverse of the string I am assuming it like empty string. Next, for i is equals to n minus one, it will store like zero one two three four. I is equals to n minus one means I will start from. Four i greater than zero, four greater than or equals to zero. Yes, it is true. If it is true, s one is equals to s one plus input string dot caret of i, the character which lies at the location four we have to return. So s one is equals to m. Next i minus minus i will be decremented three. Now it will come here. Next it is y. Next i will be decremented. Now it will come here. Next is d. I will be decremented. Now it will come here. Next is y. I will be decremented. Now it will come here, which is M. So M A G A M. If we reverse the string, also we got the same thing. No, 
this is nothing but if the given string is equals to given string we have taken it like input string if it is equals to equals to yes one both are equal which is a palindrome so i'm returning true else i'm returning false any doubt here ma any doubt here please respond so i'm running the test cases See, input string is a a b a a. Yes, it is true. Expected is also true. Both matches. It will give you test case has passed. A b a. See, if you reverse it, c a b a, which is not a palindrome one. Yeah, which is a palindrome. So true. A z not a palindrome. So not true. A b a c a b a a b a c a b a. Same we will get. So it is true. Z which is also true. A triple A B four A, but here we are having at 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 last four A so false. Three digits A double digit A again. If you have three digits, then it is true. Otherwise, it is false. Uh, forget the same. It is true. Same. It is true. Okay, this is nothing but the third one. Those who did not complete, please complete it. Okay, roll number fifty three. Share your screen, ma. Okay, ma'am. those who did not complete please complete it what it is showing ma so on the website it was this error ma'am like uh zero out of bound from length zero and yes. till now i was getting a different error but now i like i did vs code solve that auto fix and now i'm getting index zero out of bound in length zero the same yes. error as the website Okay. And I don't know why, ma'am. Okay, go to Tom. You just print this length L, ma'am. Print length After L. After line number six, we just print the length L. Okay, ma'am. System dot out dot print L. Oh, sorry. Okay. I have to, but remove everything. You remove. Ah, uh, remove means uh, please make it comment line number eight inch. No, no, don't remove. Just put comments slash star. Okay, okay. No, ma'am. I'll just remove it and paste it again. It's okay. Where will you keep it? I'll like copy and store it. Okay. If you comment it also, no problem, no. Mm -hmm. Why again taking risk? Oh, copying, pasting. Mm, it's fine, ma'am. Okay. Plus, like I have do the code it, uh, on the website. Which one you are comfortable? You do it. Okay, ma'am. And this should end. So you have printed the length, right? Now, before uh, after the line number seven, you print one, the array also. Just minute, we are checking one. whether we are getting the uh, array or not. It won't let it print until I return something. And you want array also, ma'am? Yes. Which one? Array A or like input array? No, input array. You print it. Okay, ma'am. How can you print the array directly? Ah, uh, that sorry, ma'am. System dot out dot print. Wait, do I need for loop for this? Yes. How can you print it directly? Sorry, ma'am. Int i is equal to zero. I less than l. I need l. Okay, I have l. I plus plus. Mm, system dot out dot print l enough. Of a no. What am I using here? Input array. I. P U T. Of i. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Don't use that return l. 
written okay. and then write written out not you just simply put no, like a written I'm using, or at least i'm using print here no so i'll expect a written statement or else it won't execute then you change it to static void here in line number 3 you change it to void static void mm, yes static void and remove int yes mm, okay remove the written l also you just simply print it okay ma'am print oh, one minute sorry order. again and do i remove it from here and there also ln you just give system dot out dot print ah oh, okay remove that ma yep. remove 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 hmm okay now you execute Three six minus, minus two, two five minus seven. seven three. Some six it is giving. There is L one minute one. Ah, uh, L is six. Yes, ma'am. Mm, you have printed the length also. That's three, why it four, is giving. Three four five six. Yes, ma'am. Six only. Right. So reading part is absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, now you add line by line steps. Okay, ma'am. Uh, so this I will after this line number eleven to eleven line number fifteen you remove yes ma'am you just print a of i what happens we'll see okay ma'am again for you sorry because it is also error right yes ma'am for Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Yes. Put some equal. Uh, sorry. <laughs> hmm. This is where the problem is, ma'am. Okay. Into. Unresolved compilation problem. You put i less than l. I less than l. Yes, ma'am. Not l minus one. You change it to l. Okay. Still same one. Zero. I zero I zero one two three four five oh I can't I don't think I can do this why or can I one minute zero plus zero plus one one zero one I Five no five five plus one six six doesn't yes ma'am six won't exist yes ma'am I so, understood understood ma'am so when I comes to five and I of six input array of six doesn't exist yes so now I see why everything is like this then so how do I change I I'll have to put a for loop j. Hmm. And for J int J J equals zero J sorry J less than L and J plus plus and Ah. 
What do you got? One minute. I'm still trying to fix this. Okay. And where are you? In in K zero J plus J plus I think I no yes I'm still same <laughs> J is equals to not zero ma J will be I guess one, one right J will be one I think or yeah J should be one and no J should be I plus one. J should be I plus one. I plus one. This is completely wrong answer. Don't use J loop because every time when I is zero, so it will uh, multiply J uh, zero and one. Next it will multiply uh, zero and two because you have given J plus plus two. Next it will multiply zero three zero four like that. It will do. It does not oh, again yes. J loop, right? Mm. So that or is what the case. Should I should I do I? comma j equals to 1 and then for i is less than this and j plus plus and remove j loop no no need of j variable i think then i simply it is uh, a of i is equals to input array of i 1 i less than j j plus plus and it should 5 1 minute now 0 Zero one one two two three four five five and six will come again. Less than L minus no. Mom, I don't know. <laughs> okay, remove the J value. Okay, mom. Okay. I equals to zero, I less than L minus one you give. Okay, ma'am. Minus one. Minus one, and it is not equals to one. Sorry, ma'am. L minus one. Yeah. And do I put I instead of J here? Mm, yes, I plus one. I plus one. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Next, uh, after line number five, you declare another variable into some x equals to zero. Okay, mom. Okay, and next, a of x. A of x where, mom? Line number ten. A of instead of a of i, you take it like x. Okay. Okay, next. After line number 10, press enter. Uh, yes, ma'am. X plus plus. X plus plus. Zero. Now you try it. Uh, semicolon. Okay, ma'am. <clears throat> mm, yeah, no. Same error. Yes, ma'am. Come down, ma'am. There is not okay. This this here. Ah, uh, do I remove this? Yes. I think I should have done that before. Yes, index zero out of bound length zeros. That same thing is coming. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Over here, it'll still be five, ma'am. I of five okay. will come. Because... Okay, we'll check it, wait. Zero. It'll work like this, but last two variable, it won't give. Yes, that is the only thing. Okay, no, ma'am. It won't work like that also. What? 
Yes. Oh. Why is it not working like this also, ma'am? Okay, ma'am. We'll see that. I'll uh, bring the code and I'll tell you. Okay. Uh, for today's session, if you have any doubt, please raise your voice. We'll check roll number fifty-three. Okay. Mm, yes, ma'am. Fifty-three. Yes, Are you there? Okay. If you have any doubt, please raise your voice, ma'am. 